Assalamu alaikum welcome to Khamar Munboy channel and this is a new video for you do like my video so that I can create more for you by clicking on this like button and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel till now and also press on the bell icon if you are not getting this notification uh, for my channel you will get a notification every time I upload a new video thank you So this is the building uh, ready with all the beams. We'll do, we will draw the plane the beams after drawing the columns. So let us draw the columns first. So for columns you have to change this to all stories and you have to start drawing the columns from the top floors. And go for quick draw columns and we can select the column size. We will take corner columns as 300 by 600 and you can fix the orientation. Always the column uh, should be pointed a uh, um, longer size should be in the side where the beam is beam length is more. So you have to take the column in that direction. So the 600 side I will keep in this direction. So, if you want to change the angle, you can go for this option. Angle. That is angle 90 degrees you can change and you can draw. And also after drawing my, by mistake in the 0 degree angle, you can change the angle by selecting that column and going for assign. And you can assign the, and you can rotate using the, using the frame this frame you can assign and you can change the local axis and you can rotate it so let us go to draw drawing this columns I'll draw this columns see here also one one more column it is coming so that i can change here one column is over Another column is here, another column is here, another column is here. Okay. Since I have taken all the stories, it will go up to the bottom, and you can see by clicking the top button, it will come in the foundation level. The foundation is coming properly. Now we can. Uh, change the orientation that is 90 it is a continuous column now I can draw these three columns these three columns You know that all orientation of this top column should be in this direction that I, I am keeping in this direction uh, so that I, I can change later. I will change it later. Now I will go to this option and I will select these columns. see that the six columns has been selected of oh, all the floors so 66 now i can change the orientation go to select and deselect the joints or you can keep it like that no problem go to assign frame and you change the angle of the frame change the angle to 90 degrees go for apply and click on ok see that the orientation has been changed now you can go for display and it is displaying the 
arrows also so if you don't want to see these arrow go to undeformed shape again the arrows will not show so those arrows are nothing but showing the local axis of the members now i can see these columns orientation have been changed uh, due to some uh, like orientation problems you can you have like this column is outside this line of column so you can move shift this column this side using that move option if you select this column if you want to move by 230 mm or in the left side so you can go to edit and you can go to move frames and you can give minus x direction to this so that it can move this side like i i, I show minus uh, zero point in meters i have to give so 0 0.23 if i give and if i press apply it will move this side with the joint so if you don't want to move with the joint so then you have to, what you have to do is you have to keep uh, after moving you have to delete these two beams and you have to redraw the beam over the over the grid so it will come on here so like that uh, you have to do it and see that this column this beam is on the center of the column and these two beams will come here on this so this part of the beam you need not to design it will show sometimes fail but you need not to design because it is coming under the column if the column fails at that time it is a problem so there is like that you have the option so if you do undo this it will come back to its original position so like that you can move the column also uh, to the proper orientation as in the architectural plan so like that you can do it so let us continue with this and we will put a circular column here I want to put a circular column here. Let us define a circular column first. Let us go to this define option. create click ok and go for quick draw column i'll select the column circular column and i just place here so this circular column has been placed now let us go to the ground floor and see what extra columns we need to provide for the base and in this at this in this time we'll draw the columns up to the ground floor column up to the ground floors so let us go to that ground floor this is foundation level plinth level this is the first floor that is cellar floor and this is the ground floor now if i draw a column it will come up to the 10th that is 7th 6th 7th floor 7th floor because it is selected here all stories but i don't want to draw up to this floor or all this up to this story so at this time what i need to do is i can go and change the grid properties and the uh, story property i can make it the similar story like foundation level and foundation level i cannot make it similar but i can make the uh, plinth level is also a similar story then i can go for the drawing of that uh, beam and column okay 
So let us go to the edit option and we will try that. Now go out of the draw menu by clicking the select object. Now you are out of the draw column menu. Now you can go for changing this um, floor that is cellar floor, ground floor and the plinth floor to a similar floor that is go to define, go to edit and go to edit grid system and stories and here you modify this story here you change from similar to none to similar to ground floor now it is similar to ground floor and uh, click on refresh view and click on ok see that now it is the slab is not been added automatically because now now after this change if you go and draw any slab it will also copy into the plinth level so you, you can do like that also and you can delete the slab of the plinth level by uh, keeping here one story and uh, you can delete the plinth level slab that is also a quick way of drawing the uh, slabs and uh, the building so any kind of building you can draw using this kind of, uh, this system and uh, i will show you how to delete the slab also and how to add a open slab open area in the slab so that you can uh, put the staircase or the lift that also i will going to show in the upcoming uh, upcoming video so let us uh, click on ok now go to the ground floor we are in the ground floor now we will draw the uh, bottom columns that is 450 by 450 columns we want to draw here so we will go for quick draw column and we will take this option uh, draw columns here we will take the option of column that is 450 by 450 now we will take here similar stories and we will draw the columns uh, wherever required Like this, this drawing is complete. Drawing the plane. Hmm, now we can go to the foundation level, plinth level. This is plinth level. This is foundation level. Now we can draw the plinth beams. Then we can change the change the columns between uh, foundation and plinth uh, to uh, means to the columns you want using the select option selecting those columns only and going for the change in the uh, column size by using the assign option this select and assign option is very important while drawing the members in the e tabs so let us go and draw those uh, thing before that apply the footings foundation to the rigid foundation this is a pin this pinned foundation i want uh, that is uh, this is a pinned foundation i want a uh, isolated foundation that is rigid foundation fixed foundation i want fixed so let us go and fix fix this foundation how to do that go to the foundation level it is now in you are in the foundation level uh, go out of the column draw menu click on the uh, select object option now select all the columns bottom that is like this if you uh, select all this column bottom is 124 joint is showing you select one story first and clear the selection now select all these joints now 124 joints only now go to 
assign joint and restraints here you assign this as a fast restraints that is fixed this is the first one is fixed that is second one is pinned third one is roller fourth one is free so if you click on this and click on apply and ok and now what i was saying about refresh window this is a refresh window button or you can go to view and refresh window and refresh view and select the 3d view it has not been changed into fixed go to refresh window after selection now you can see it is changed to fixed footing so like that you can change the foundation now save this model now we need to change the pedestal and we will we need to draw the plinth beams